being drained. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So? He's not working now? Yes, he's not working. I like him, though. Aristophanes, funny man. But the opinions told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are he's not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Go take your boys somewhere else. You will regret that. Get going. From your smell, you already know where the goat pens are. I'm sure they miss you. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You need to sober up. This play is important. So say Caterini. I need my muse. Please. She's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis. An artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. You don't understand. I need your help. So many do. These hands have helped more people than Hippocrates. No. Thespis told me to find you. Well, I'm not giving discounts to his friends, if that's what you're thinking. No. Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Rexenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Rexenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword, as proof. <sighs> I'll be back soon. Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant. But as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? What is it with you? There is more at stake here than a few moments of pleasure. Only a few? You don't rate yourself highly in love, then? This play could help decide the fate of Athens. I need you to keep your word and go to Thespis. Do not worry. I will see you at the play with Thespis. Please tell me you have news of Thespis. He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Athenians' lives are too complicated. I would rather be a farmer than work in the theater. True, it's not for everyone, but it's a wonderful life. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice. <laughs> oh, happy day for us and for our children if Cleon should perish. You also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think, 
I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery. Gee, he treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas, the conspirators are murdering me. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us right now to change their minds. So, you'll join me? How am I supposed to help? You're the speaker, not me. That's exactly why you'll be able to help. I need you to act like the people who support Cleon. It won't be easy, but I'll do what I can. Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous. I'm not harming the person. Someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another, even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene. And we have the proof he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. That was a great display of rhetoric. The people will be unable to deny what they heard. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Alexios, Brasidas sent me to find you. He's alive and well. 
Where is he now? Amphibolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Cleon dies now. This is our chance. The plan is already working. Death shouldn't be brought early, even to someone like Cleon. He's exactly the type death should come early to. Not all who live deserve to grow old, Socrates. And you decide who deserves it? This time, I do. Ah. Then, safe travels. Rasidas, you're here. You got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you alright? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. This is our chance, Brasidas. We kill Cleon today. If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were a Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I did what I thought was right. You hurt my reputation. I can fix that, Brasidas. Let me fix it. It's too late. Let me explain. I know you killed Nikolaos. You... How? You showed up in Magaris, and the wolf died. No explanation needed. That man destroyed my life. And they made him a general for it. I had no choice. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. I we need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka. Alexios, come now! So mercy! You turned her against us! My own sister! We lifted Themos up! We made her great! Unstoppable! You made her a monster! Then fight by her side! Teacher, you would have Themos once again! Her name is Cassandra! I beg you, this world is severed, Alexios, and we'll unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. You don't deserve a quick death. But you'll learn what you meet at the gates of Hades. No. No, Neil. You don't understand. Ugh. No one will forget me. Cleon of Athens! I will be remembered! You're already forgotten. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? Cleon shot her in the back with an arrow. She fell. I... I don't think she survived. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mater, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyatos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. 
I'm coming with you. Cassandra! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Cassandra, please! You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family. Home. <laughs> The cult is my family. The battlefield is my home. I told you, Mater. She's beyond reason. Beyond reason? Is that what you told Mater? Why didn't you tell her the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with the destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a... Broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You're just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed. Trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted! And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Cassandra! When I was little, I found a lion cub. Trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of peace, Family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. And my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. I tried saving you once. And it cost me everything. But you are beyond saving. You won't survive the mountain this time. No one will save you this time. this world and you did come let's go home 